Temple Basketball Above the Rim is brought to you by the Philadelphia Federal Credit Union, the official credit union of Temple University. competitive. She's a winner. She's most definitely a winner. Hustle, 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 hustle. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Good, good. Stay right, Just keep her out there. Be ready to help right here, T. When she's hard on you, it's, you know it's coming from a good place. Shoot it. You come all the way in here. There's nobody in here guarding you. Shoot it. But she's most definitely she's tough. She's a tough coach. Good, Mike. Keep going. Good. Good, Mike. 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 You had it. You did a perfect job. But then you jumped up in the air. You got a score, Black. We need a stop here, Jackie. We need one. We need one, Jackie. Keep going. Sometimes it's not what you really want to hear, like how a coach just yelling. But at the end of the day, she's right. You know, coach is always right. Hustle, T. Hustle. Ball's in. Ball. It's been a tradition of excellence, nearly a decade in the making for Temple's women's basketball program. 2011-2012 marked the ninth straight trip to the postseason for the Owls, who concluded their year with a deep run into the third round of the NIT. Head coach Tanya Cardoza enters her fifth season on North Broad, and not only has she continued Temple's winning ways, she's begun to build her own coaching legacy leading her teams to 93 victories in her first four seasons. But every now and then comes a year that presents new challenges to even the most established of programs. This is one of those years. Cardoza has a roster full of very talented but very young players who bear the unenviable responsibility of replacing two of the greatest players in program history. But the most difficult part of stepping into the roles that were once held by Shea Petty and Kristen McCarthy is not replacing their production, but rather replacing their leadership. Kristen McCarthy concluded her career as the fourth leading scorer in school history. Kristen McCarthy. After starting all four years, then developing into a model of consistency on both ends of the floor. Shea Petty spent her final two college seasons as an owl, transferring to Temple from Wright State. But it didn't take her four years in cherry and white to become one of the greatest owls of all time. She led Temple in scoring each of her two seasons and finished 17th on the all-time scoring list while winning A-10 Player of the Year and Defensive Player of the Year in 2012. Finally, the team is without its point guard, B.J. Williams, who in her final season as an Owl led the Atlantic 10 with five assists per game, finishing fifth in Temple history in helpers. Shea was the one that, you know, quietly pushed you, you know, um, Shea, she, she led by what she did on the court, you know. She led by example. BJ was our best point guard, you know. She always, you know, pushed the ball up, fast break, easy buckets, you know, had, had a good uh, way of finding open players. I mean, Chris, of course, she led by example as well. You know, Chris was one of the best, you know, threes in, the, in D1, if you ask me. Um, Shea as well, one of the best guards in the league. But when you have three guys that play like 30 minutes a game and you know, do the bulk of your scoring and, you know, they know the ins and outs of what it takes to win. You know, it's really difficult to replace and now you're replacing with three new guys. Not a lot was asked of them. Um, so it's really difficult for those guys to step in, but I think they've done a pretty good job, um, more than what I, I think I expected them to do.
Day by day, Coach Cardoza brings a certain intensity to the practice floor her players have come to expect. But with a roster full of so many young players, including six freshmen and three sophomores, Cardoza has found herself having to become more of a teacher than in years past. I've had to dial it back a lot, and that's probably my frustration. Because I've had to dial it back, I feel like um, maybe that's not working. <laughs> um, but I know that I have to be patient with my younger, younger guys because confidence issues always arise. Um, but I feel myself definitely trying to be more patient and trying to teach more. The teacher has a talented group of students who she can mold over the next few years. And with their feet to the fire right away, the young squad will get on the job training that can help them grow up in a hurry. That's the most important thing at this point, um, is making sure that these guys get good experience and that they're learning like every single game, win or lose, that they're getting something out of it. And I definitely think Tiana is doing that. I think it's only gonna help her next year when she doesn't have to play as much that role. Now she can sit back. The same with Sally and all the rest of those guys. This experience that they're getting playing at this level um, is only gonna make them so much better. Good, keep it in front of you. Keep it in front of you, good. That's good, Meg. That's good defense, Meg. Angela believed that with a little help, she could make her flower store succeed, even in a tough economy. We never doubted her for a minute. In good times and bad, count on Philadelphia Federal Credit Union. We're better, honest. Hey Philly, Temple Owls basketball is heating up at the Lea Cora Center. Be there for all the exciting action as the Owls close out their final season in the Atlantic 10 Conference. Purchase the Temple Basketball Flex Plan and receive tickets to three games of your choice. Plus a Temple Under Armour t-shirt, all for as low as 45 bucks. That's three great games of your choice, plus a Temple Under Armour t-shirt for only $45. Call 215-204-8499 or visit OwlsTicks.com today. Philly basketball is Temple made. The wait is over, Toyota-thon is on. It's the biggest sales event of the year at Team Toyota, and the one you don't want to miss. Save big on a reliable and dependable Toyota, or stretch your budget with an incredible lease deal, or save even more with 0% financing. Plus, every new Toyota comes standard with Toyota Care. Great deals, great selection, Toyota-thon is on. Hurry in today and you'll be singing. Team Toyota, I'm part of the team. Minds made, ideas made, breakthroughs made, status quos erased by self-starters. Not just showing what they're made of, but what they've made. Often leading the way, always pushing forward. Forever proud of where they come from and where they're going. With Edgar's adjustable rate mortgage on the rise, he believed that finding the right lender could help him save extra money and provide for his family. We believed in Edgar. Philadelphia Federal Credit Union. We're better. Honest. Dean is a unique attorney because he gets what people are going through. He has a way of making you feel like I know what I'm doing and everything is going to be all right. He is human. He's just not this man in a suit who says, oh, I'm going to be your lawyer and that's the end of it. Well, he was always going to be right there by our side. I'm Dean Weitzman of My Philly Lawyer. We fight for people who can't fight for themselves. My Philly Lawyer, when winning matters most. In the Paint is brought to you by My Philly Lawyer. Tanya Cardoza has developed quite the reputation for grooming great guards in her coaching career. In her 14 seasons as an assistant at the University of Connecticut, prior to taking over at Temple, she helped mold players the likes of Sue Bird and Diana Taurasi into some of the best players in women's basketball. Good. Hustle, hustle, Sally. Choppy steps at the end. Good, Sally. Keep going. Good, Sally. Good, Sally. Go get it. Be hungry. Get mad and be hungry. Keep going, Ratiska. Good. Tess, the only thing is, get, the, get this hand off of her. As you, she's driving, you're holding on with this hand. Get this one off. You can't allow yourself being tired to get sloppy. 
you got to be a better defender and you are a better defender but you let yourself get tired and then you don't care about doing the little things you got to make sure you're disciplined now let's go meg good meg good meg stay down that's good meg that's good d meg good shot t you can't do better than that meg that was good Find her, push her back. Good box out, Sally. That's a good box out, Sally. Let's go, get up. We were on defense, and Jackie went to go get the offensive boards. And Sally went to box her out. And Sally didn't care about the ball. All she did was make sure that Jackie wasn't going to get it. She took Jackie all the way out of bounds. And that's what I'm looking for, guys that are going to sacrifice and make sure that their guy doesn't get the rebound, not just go run in here and try to out-jump people. Sacrifice and box the guy out. And Sally, they're not going to guard you, and, and that's okay. They're not going to guard you out here. So what you need to do is dribble, shoot the pull-up, or dribble, get all the way to the basket. Because as you're standing here, and I'm trying to throw the ball to um, – post player the guy's playing here so now you're not going to be able to do that so now you put the ball on the floor shoot the pull up or you make them guard you now once you put the ball on the floor maybe they start guarding you now now you can make the pass but you can't stand out here and make, let them off the hook now you punish them you put them on the floor and shoot the pull up or you get to the basket in the paint has been brought to you by my philly lawyer Early in the season comes a big opportunity to put learned lessons to the test. Temple has gotten off to a four and two start on the year, but the toughest challenge to date arrives on Sunday in the form of the undefeated Syracuse Orange. This is a revenge game for the Owls who were eliminated by the Orange from the NIT Sweet 16 round last season. It's a fast start to the rematch for Syracuse, who rides the strong post play of Kayla Alexander and the three-point shooting of Carmen Tyson Thomas to take an early lead on the Owls, who find themselves down double digits before they've played 10 minutes. Sophomore point guard number three, Ritesca Brown, does her best to keep the Owls close. But despite her nine points and two deep threes, Temple finds itself in a steep 14-point hole at halftime. The final 20 minutes begin, and Temple looks to its lone senior, Number 25, Victoria McCauley to get a run started. And she does just that. It's a 12-0 run, capped off by a Sally Cabangano layup that closes the orange lead from 14 to two in just the first four minutes of the second half. But two is as close as it would get for the next several minutes as Syracuse responds with a run of its own, building the lead back to 12, forcing Cardoza to try to put a halt to the orange momentum with a timeout. Twice in a span of minutes, the Owls are down 12 and could easily fold. But it's the will of McCauley that won't let Temple go away easily. It's McCauley's post presence that sparks one more run for the Owls, but it's Tiana Williams' three that gives Temple its first lead of the game with seven minutes to play. Coach Cardoza called the win over the orange, one that showed a lot of character, and it came in large part due to Victoria McCauley, one of Cardoza's highest character players. McCauley finished the game with 20 points and a game-high 11 rebounds, producing on both ends of the floor 
which is exactly what Temple's lone senior has had to do this season. I knew it was going to happen because we are so young and we have six freshmen and you know I'm the only senior on the team so I knew I had to step up to the plate and you know I have worked so hard over the summer you know late night basketball you know just working out just trying to be the best I can be for this last year and you know just trying to prove to everybody that I'm not the same Vic as last year or the years before that. I expect her to, to be the coach on the floor, you know, when there's a game plan for her to stick to it and, and make that rub off on the other guys. Um, you know, her and Tasha both. Tasha, you know, she's been here just as long as Vic. Maybe she didn't play last year. But those two guys, it, it all starts with them. Becoming the number one option in the course of one offseason brings with it added pressure and stress. But the opportunity to lead her team is something that Macaulay has looked forward to her entire career as an owl. And it's not something she's shying away from now that it's hers. Yeah, I always wanted to be the, you know, not, not more of the star of the team, but just like the leader, you know, just trying to, you know, get the team going. Um, that go-to player where, you know, every time she casts the ball is something good. She looks to score. Every time she gets the ball, she looks to attack. She got a killer instinct. Every time I'm going to the rack, every time. She, she can block shots at times. She rebounds very well. I mean, everybody knows, hey, when we down, like, just, just give her the ball and she'll make something happen. She's good at creating her own shot. McCauley is averaging nearly a double-double at 14 points and nine rebounds a game both top 10 in the conference. But the key to her success, and ultimately the success of the team, comes down to her ability to balance shouldering the load and helping to instruct those who will succeed her. In the summer, you know, with these new guys coming in, you know, it was pretty hard um, to just get everybody on the same page, get everybody focused, and, you know, I just try to, um, just try to show everybody that you know, being a good player and being just working hard for everything, you know, is very important. And that's just one more element to balance in the life of a student athlete who works each day to balance her love for the game, her responsibilities as a student, and her life outside of basketball. When focusing on schoolwork, really focusing on schoolwork, and then when coming to practice, you know, just really leaving everything at the door and then just trying to work hard and give you all in practice. Um, I try not to let that, you know, collide into each other. Um, when it's practice time, it's practice time. When it's school time, it's school time. I love this town. I was born two blocks from here. I was raised here, and I went to school here. When I became a lawyer over 20 years ago, there was no doubt where I'd practice. I wanted to make a difference here. That's why I started My Philly Lawyer. I'm Dean Weitzman. If you're ever injured in an accident, I'll stand by you, I'll fight for you, and I'll get you the compensation you deserve. Go to MyPhillyLawyer.com or call us at 215-227-2727 when winning matters most. Hey Philly, Temple Owls basketball is heating up at the Leah Cora Center. Be there for all the exciting action as the Owls close out their final season in the Atlantic 10 Conference. Purchase the Temple Basketball Flex Plan and receive tickets to three games of your choice, plus a Temple Under Armour t-shirt, all for as low as 45 bucks. That's three great games of your choice, plus a Temple Under Armour t-shirt for only $45. Call 215-204-8499 or visit OwlsTicks.com today. Philly basketball is Temple made. The human body makes complicated maneuvers look deceptively simple. Wouldn't it be nice if your health insurance did too? At Independence Blue Cross, we're making it happen. Independence Blue Cross, changing the game.
Fieldhouse Sports and Beer Hall, Center City, the official Game Watch headquarters of Temple Owls basketball. Stop in for specials during all Temple Owls basketball games. The young team that got off to a hot start set off on a six-game non-conference road trip that took the Owls away from the comforts of home for 35 days. Playing veteran teams like Villanova, Georgetown, and Michigan State were humbling experiences for the Owls, who could learn a lot about themselves by going through some early season adversity. Playing on the road definitely isn't easy. You know, we play some ranked teams on the road. We play Michigan State, you know, it's loud, you know, everybody's yelling. Um, you tend to lose your composure early if things aren't going your way. But it's basically what we're doing, you know. Um, we have to grow as a team. We have to keep getting better as a team. Um, whether we're home or away, we know what we're capable of doing, and we just need to do it. The one thing that I would say is that we don't pay attention to detail, and that's something that we've been constantly trying to harp on, is that if we pay attention to detail and do the little things, maybe those outcomes would have been differently. After such a long home drought, the team is happy to be back in the Leah Core Center. They're also happy to begin play within the Atlantic 10 Conference, where the Owls have had nothing but success, following two straight seasons with 13-1 records against conference opponents. And following an opening victory against St. Bonaventure, tonight's game begins with a celebration at midcourt for Tanya Cardoza's 100th head coaching win. Congratulations, Coach Tanya Cardoza. That was really nice. Um, I felt like, you know, obviously that wouldn't have been accomplished if I didn't have the players that I had. And we've had some really good players that have come in here um, and the coaching staff that I've had. But it, I mean, it's a milestone that I think any and every coach would want to reach. Um, right now, I'm just concerned about one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> Many of Cardoza's 100 wins have come against familiar conference teams. But this conference opponent is a new one. Virginia Commonwealth joined the A-10 this season they brought with them a strong basketball tradition. Temple begins this contest against the Rams in a shooting slump, missing their first 10 attempts from the field. But VCU is only able to take a four-point lead in a game that would be a tight battle from start to finish. Riteska Brown took the offensive initiative early on, particularly from beyond the arc, but the sophomore knocked down six shots on her way to a 22-point performance. But as VCU looked as though they'd pull away with an 11-point lead and just five minutes to play, four different Owls hit their biggest shots of the game to give Temple a little life down the stretch. 28 seconds remain and down five. Brown gets a shot at a three to leave the Owls with a shred of hope in the waning seconds. But it's not until VCU misses the front end of a one and one before Temple gets one last shot at stealing a win in a game that saw them trail much of the second half. BW of Langhorne is proud to be the official sponsor and fan of Temple Sports. Score big with a 2013 Volkswagen Passat with automatic transmission. Enjoy the premium features without the premium price. All this starting around $22,800. VW of Langhorne on Business Route 1 in Langhorne. About a 30-minute drive from Philadelphia, King of Prussia, and South Jersey. Be the first to know about our deals. Become a fan of VW of Langhorne and friend us at VWOfLanghorne.com so you can be ahead of the game. Jared's family didn't have much money, but he believed with smart savings and the right plan, he could go to college. We helped him pass with flying colors. Philadelphia Federal Credit Union, online at betterthanmybank.com. Minds made. Ideas made. Breakthroughs made. Status quos erased by self-starters. Not just showing what they're made of, but what they've made. Often leading the way, always pushing forward. Forever proud of where they come from and where they're going. 
Philadelphia's premier Subaru dealer, Glansman Subaru, is celebrating this holiday season with the Subaru Share the Love event. Tis the season to offer you 0% financing, plus $250 will go to one of five special charities with your purchase of any new Subaru at Glansman. And our staff is committed to your 100% satisfaction. Check out our entire inventory at GetSubaru.com during our Subaru Share the Love event. Glansman Subaru, Route 611, Jenkintown. Credit card debt could have gotten the best of Michael and Maria, but they believed they could pick themselves up and get back on track. So did we. In good times and bad, count on Philadelphia Federal Credit Union. Online at betterthanmybank.com. The human body is a marvel of intertwined parts. Wouldn't it be nice if your family doctors and specialists were as perfectly connected? At Independence Blue Cross, we're making it happen. Independence Blue Cross, changing the game. Hi, I'm Tanya Cardoza, head women's basketball coach. Between school, work, and everything else going on in your life, eating right seems almost impossible. Instead of stressing about it, keep it simple. Take five minutes to make sure every meal includes five things. A fruit, a vegetable, a lean protein, a grain, and a source of calcium like dairy. For more great tips like this, visit the IBX Healthy Steps website. On the next episode of Temple Basketball, Above the Rim, check back in on Temple's men's basketball program as they continue their last stand against Atlantic 10 competition. I talk to these guys all the time about being tough and being courageous and being hardworking and dedicated. And when I watch all of you interact with each other and then interact uh, with fellow patients, I understand how tough that you guys really are. And it's a night away from basketball for the Owls, who spend their time learning about what's most important in life at the AstraZeneca Hope Lodge. Temple Basketball Above the Rim has been brought to you by the Philadelphia Federal Credit Union, the official credit union of Temple University.